It's time for the final VH100R shootout. In this video, I shoot the Laney VH100R out against a current Laney Amps heavy hitter, a Laney Ironheart IRT60H. As usual, I'll be going through the modes and channels of the VH100R, starting with its clean tone and moving up in gain while comparing it to equivalent tones or settings on the Ironheart. And while the Amps control panels look similar, this shootout was difficult to plan for me because the Ironheart gives you a lot more options for achieving a high gain tone. Both the rhythm and lead channel hang with the VH100R's highest gain setting even when not using the onboard boost on the Ironheart. So there will be a few more high gain samples in this video. I'll elaborate on that at the end of the video, I don't want to bore you to death just yet. Let's get into it.
Hi, if you've watched some of my videos before, you might be surprised to see me right now, because I usually don't step in front of the camera. At the same time, I'm a year in this now and it just felt appropriate to introduce myself and deliver a personal message. If you don't give a crap about that, that's okay with me. Just use the timestamps in the description to skip this part or drag the timeline to this point. My name is John Brown and one of the reasons why I started making videos in the first place was I wanted to step out of my comfort zone and face my fears. And as ridiculous or silly as that may sound to you, I was terrified of putting my playing and just my voice out there because the internet can be a toxic cesspool sometimes. And quite frankly, I'm very nervous speaking to the camera right now, as I'm certain you'll be able to tell. Another thing I'm certain about is that you will have recognized one of the reasons why by now, because not only am I bald, I have no hair on my head whatsoever. And no, I'm not in chemotherapy, I don't have cancer, and I didn't do this to myself either to become more aerodynamic. I have an autoimmune condition called alopecia, where the immune system attacks the body's own hair. It's pretty harmless, but it makes you look a little odd. Now this is not supposed to be some sob story, F that. Other people face real tragedies in life. In the grand scheme of things, I feel like a very lucky man. But I'd be lying if I said that didn't mess with my head. Quite literally. And I feel like I've let this limit me for quite some time now, and I'm done with that. And this feels like the next logical step in that endeavor. So to anybody who subscribed, liked, or commented on one of my videos, I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. You've made me feel accepted, and you've made me feel that what I do adds value to the space. And that means more to me than you might think. So thank you again. And with that out of the way, back to the amps. When I planned out this series, I thought that this shootout would be a particularly easy one to make because on the surface, these amps look quite similar. For one thing, they're both Laney's, they both have two channel topographies, and they both have switchable extra gain features, the pre-boost on this amp, and the drive on the VH100R. However, they are quite different in the high gain department. For one thing, the rhythm channel on the Ironheart, or let's say channel one mode two, has way more gain on tap than channel one mode two on this amp, or even channel two mode one. Also, the pre-boost feature on the Ironheart seems to be just that, a clean boost. It is solid state circuitry that sits right behind the input jack here, and it can be switched in front of any of the Ironheart's channels. On the VH100R, however, the drive, only affects channel two, and it seems to be an additional tube gain stage that is switched in between the input stage of the amp and the gain stages for channel two. So the Ironheart has a lot more options for dialing a high gain tone on it. And as a result of that, I bored you with a lot more high gain AB test samples just a few minutes ago. Another reason for stepping in front of the camera, I can only pan across the amp so many times and make it interesting looking B-roll footage. But with that said, back to voiceover and interesting looking B-roll footage. The amps definitely sound related to me, but much to my surprise, the older VH100R sounds more aggressive to me. It has a high-end signature that the Ironheart lacks. The Ironheart sounds smoother in comparison, but not muffled like some other amps that are often described as smooth sounding. I need to point out that the Ironheart has push-pull EQ knobs that change the EQ or shift some of the frequencies when they're pulled. Other than on the treble pods, I don't notice a massive difference when these are pulled out. But when the treble knobs are pulled out, the Ironheart does have a more noticeable high end, but still not quite like that of the VH100R. Here's how that sounds. Even though I prefer the VH100R's high gain sound to that of the Ironheart, I prefer the push-pull pods on the ladder and pushed in, so with a more rolled off high end for some reason. Another thing they sadly do have in common is they're both quite noisy amps. The Ironheart more so than the VH100R even. I think the noise is accentuated by my filming setup here, but I always remember the Ironheart being noisy. It's, it's what it is. Still sounds great though. So, if this video was entertaining, informative, or useful to you in any way, 
or you just fell in love with my dorm, I'd appreciate it if you could click the like button. Supposedly it helps the videos out. I've done a few more of these shootouts with the Laney VH100R. In fact, I'll link you one up here. I think you should click it. Go on, click it. Have you clicked it? You're not gonna click it, are you? Well, thanks for watching anyway. Bye.